Hey folks, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. It's another paid request this time for the movie reviewer next door. And for those interested in pretty much any type of videos, topics, reactions, commentaries, re reviews, reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. And man, this, this is a movie for today. It's directed by Colin Trevorrow. Which I looked at his filmography and this guy hasn't done a rat's ass worth of spit for me to give an iota of crap about. Because Jurassic World, this movie, Jurassic Dominion is a trifecta of shit dipped in shit. With corn in the shit. I hate all those movies. And it starts Naomi Watts who I liked as an actress, liked her in the Rain remake among others. You have her two sons. The title character, who's the older son, Jaden Martell, as Henry. He was Bill, the leader of the kids in the new It movie from 2017. Steam King's It. And then the younger brother is Jacob Tremblay. And I'm like, why does that name sound familiar? He was the kid in The Predator. Who fought Predator. Predators with the power of autism. Or where the hell happened that movie? His autism apparently gives you superpowers or some kind of shit that the Predators want for their hunting purposes. Don't ask me. I didn't write the stupid shit they did. But they have neighbors. Uh, Dean Norris, who I like. He's on the TV show Breaking Bad. He's done a lot of other stuff. He plays the police commissioner. His stepdaughter, who is friends with Henry, the lead kid here. And pretty much Henry is a genius. He'd do these Goldberg methods and he could plan stuff out. If if the twist was he became, this is a prequel, the, the Saw movies. And this is, he faked his death and became Jigsaw later on. I would buy it and maybe this would be a better movie. This movie's tone is so fucked up. It would be like if John Travolta's phenomenon turned into apt pupil. That it would seem like. And that's one of the big fucking stupid things about this. I don't care what it was based on. Maybe it reads better as a book, but none is this movie. Because the first chunk of it is okay, this kid, and there's going to be a talent show, and you know, he's getting along with his mom and his younger brother, and he can do these things here, and. You know, there's the, again, the co-worker, Naomi Watts, Sarah Silverman, and things seem to be going all right, and, but then at times, he looks at this friend he made, na the neighbor, and she'll act weird, but you don't know why. And then about 30 minutes in, do you ever take... He has a tumor. Not a tumor. Yeah, it is a tumor. Not a tuna. Not too much fucking nasty talk. Just a fucking tumor. And he's gonna die. And then halfway through the film, spoiler alerts, he does die from the fucking tumor. And so, the if you wonder, wait a minute, the book of Henry and Henry's dead, the book of Henry is a step by step guide that he fucking wrote. For his mom to prefer to 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 to, to to fucking commit the perfect murder on the police commissioner, because apparently the police commissioner is abusing his stepdaughter. Now, why the kid could not fucking? If you're so gunnel about this, why the fuck didn't you do it yourself before you died? If that's the case. Why didn't you, I don't know, get some photographic evidence, some audio evidence? You tell me there's no photo and audio evidence if you're so goddamn smart? And this kid is like Jigsaw from the Saw movies of how he plans shit out. The book is literally a step-by-step -step guide. And he plans stuff up to the point that literally Naomi Watts is going, this got to be a better way. To, re to help that girl. The younger brother turns the page. There is no other way to help that girl. On the fucking page. So he knew what his mother was going to say. 
to a point of psychicness. I get that he's supposed to be a genius, but this is like jizzsaw shit. He literally left tapes that Naomi Watts is, is listening to, and she's walking up and going, well, go to the ATM machine. That's not going to be enough money. And then the voice then goes, I know that may not be enough money, but there's another ATM machine over here. He even says, don't look at the camera. Like As she's about to look at the camera, he literally goes, don't look at the camera. I'm like, I know this pre-planning to the Goldberg, like, the stuff he's, but this is just so fucking ridiculous. And again, the plan is to get his mom to get a sniper rifle to kill Dean Norris. And the alibi is this talent show. And by the way, you don't even, we the audience don't even know that Dean Norris is guilty. Because the guy, the kid keeps saying there's all these bruises, but we don't see any bruises. As people said, she could have been hurt by dance recitals and all sorts of other shit. The girl is such a bare character when she's a big essential part of the story. And she's barely fucking in it. Don't you think she should be more part of the fucking story if it's centered about saving her? This is weird bit where when before Henry dies, he's in the hospital, and there's Sarah Silverman comes in, who's a co-worker of Naomi Watts, like I said. I've never been a fan of Sarah Silverman. I think she's annoying. I think she's irritated. I don't think she's funny. I did not like her in Wrecked Ralph. She was the worst part of that movie. I hated her in Santa Inc. I think she's a terrible actress. I don't think she's funny. I think her voice is aggravating, and I'm not a fan. And... Before she leaves, she gives a big old kiss onto this like 11 year old kid. And that's his first and last kiss, is a 30, 40 year old lady. Now, some would say, well, why you have the girl, like, you know, who he's trying to rescue, give like a nice, you know, kiss on the cheek or, you know, something like that. But no. <laughs> a fucking 40 year old lady gonna. Thank God there are no tons, I guess, on the fucking kid. And, like, the, the whole, like, step-by-step -step plan of how to kill this guy with a sniper rifle led to a point that she got to use a sniper rifle that she, with the help of this kid planning, and she's, like, this is fucking. If you looked at the poster of this film, if you looked at any type of marketing for this film, would you think you would lead to Naomi Watts training with a sniper rifle on targets and just like that, didn't it perfectly? Jesus Christ. What the fuck? It would be like if Revenge of the Nerves turned into Revenge of the fucking Ninja. It would be like. If Ernest P. Whirl, if Ernest goes to, if Ernest Dear Stupid became Friday the 13th, and Jason came in and started killing kids and knocking their heads off, and then Ernest has to use Biat to throw at fucking Jason Voorhees. Well, I probably see that movie, so that's, okay, that's the exception. Put that in the box over here. But it just, like, I did, if Travolta Phenomenon became apt people, it just, what the fuck is the thinking behind this? Literally when the talent show and dance recitals are happening, she's outside with a fucking sniper rifle ready to shoot the police commissioner Dean Norris in the face. And part of the plan is to have a fucking walkie-talkie. And then somehow... J the, the Henry knows that, that he's going to hear that. And he's going to go over here. What if he's like, oh, I was the wind. Or, you know what, I need to take a piss. I need to leave a piss. Or, you know what, I got a phone car. Or, I got a fart. Or, I got to go into the toilet. Or, I got to think of the toilet. Or, you know what, fuck this. You know what, I'm going to go out the other side. Or, I'm just going to take a dump in the woods. I'm going to take a dump in the ditch. I got itch on my ass and the finger went too far and it's stuck. I need to call the ambulance. 1-800-I-don't-give-a-fuck. I, what the fuck? What the fuck?
what the fuck is this fucking movie with the, the book on my ass? With this toilet paper, you wipe it. What the fuck? It's the tone of this movie. It's the fuck. It goes from, oh yeah, this kid is eccentric, and hey, I can make all this other stuff, to he got a brain tumor, he's gonna die. To fucking, how to teach a mom to be a sniper in 10 days or less. How to be a sniper in 10 days. Or what the fuck. And then, she looks at pictures of her son, and then I guess as a mom, as an adult, finally goes, you know what? Gee whiz, this is actually kind of fucking stupid. Why I had to take her to look at pictures to get to that understanding. My get gun ho attitude would be like, you know what? Yes, if you're abusing a kid, you're a piece of shit. Um, number one, again, you don't have evidence that Dean Norris is doing it. We, the audience, don't even know he's doing it at this point. There's no moments where we see him do one or two things. In fact, that might have been... A, some people have said this. That would, that would have been a more interesting twist, is that you find out that Dean Norris is innocent. And despite the kid being a genius and all these other things... He was still a kid, and kids still have leaps of imagination. So here's someone who's, you know what, is gun ho about believing their kid, even to the most preposterous of reasons, starts to act like an adult, and found out the truth, and thus she didn't do a horrible thing. But instead, she decides not to shoot him, goes up to Dean Norris, spoilers, I know what you are. I know what you're doing. And he's like, now why he didn't just shoot Naomi Watts in the face? Instead, he goes back in and later on we find out he killed himself. And then, like, all these people that don't want to believe, because he's a police commissioner. I'm not going to look into an investigation. The principal even is like, eh, I'm not going to look into an investigation. Nah. I'm not going to look into it. I'm not going to look into it. I'm not going to look into it. Um, I'm not going to look into it at all. And then for some reason, and I'm trying to understand this, the principal sees the girl dance and then says, you know what? Maybe I will open up an investigation on this. Why? I don't know. But whatever the fuck. And like, what was the point at by the end of the movie? Because if she had listened to her son she would have still probably somehow been in jail because there might be a bit like by not listening to her genius son things actually worked out the best so the whole book of Henry was pointless I guess to get Naomi wants to know but at the same time if she's willing to believe in this book that means there must have been enough information for her to believe that what he's telling is the truth to go along with this. So why didn't he say, hey, let me show you this book of evid if there if it was evidence. But no, the book is just how to kill the guy. It seemed like she got pretty gun known to believe in that Dean Norris did this. So it seemed like that wasn't the thing that she had a problem with. Or she had a obstacle to go over to believing in this. You think maybe the book of Henry would be, here's all this evidence I collected on this guy. Here you go. Fight by the law. And okay, it'd be 
heard going up against a police commissioner and you know what I got the evidence here this is my son this is his dying wish I don't prove to the world with his information his pictures his audio that you're a piece of shit not I'm going here's a step by step to doing a sniper rifle and shooting him in the fucking face by using a walkie talkie to lead him out to the fucking yard and hope the son I just didn't think well what if this police commissioner said Why'd you shoot her? She had a sniper rifle. I guess with the death of her kid, she she went crazy. Why couldn't he do that? Police commissioner, why'd you kill Naomi Watts? She had a sniper rifle. Look at her. The, she Her kid died recently? She went nuts, I guess. What did I say? Maybe it was that time of the month. Maybe it was a bad case of menopause. I don't fucking know. Was the acting bad? Not really. It's like it's trying to be Oscar bait, but then trying to be stupid. It's just fucking stupid, man. Just fucking stupid. In so many ways. I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? I like Naomi Watts as an actress. She's not bad at all. The kids were there. Although sometimes the kid can understand certain things as a genius. Other times he can't. I guess that's the point. He's a genius but he's awkward about certain things. Again the girl who's being abused. You think there'd be any amount of build up as a character development on her. It seems like she barely said more than five words. Again all this could be in the mind of a kid that had an overactive imagination but it never goes in that route of doubt which I think is a missed opportunity and <sighs> Jesus And then you go from coming of age to you go to my. Th this is like a fucking soap opera. A shitty, young, the restless, as the world turns, guiding light soap opera with all the crazy, insane twists and turns. I wait for the fucking twist of actually, Dean Norris is the real father. And actually, kid, this girl is your sister, and I don't know, the other guy's a fucking alien, or whatever the hell shit. <laughs> this fucking movie, man, god damn. I just rub my head and go, what the fuck did I just saw, man? That's so ridiculous and stupid. It, it, I mean, if movie reviewer, if you liked it, that's cool, teach your own. I thought this was such an insane, idiotic plot. And then the kid like knew so much. Like he knew when she was in position. Shoot now. Do ba ba. All these other variables. Again, what if the guy had gas that night? What if he need to take an extra long piss? What if he need to do this? What if this other happened? What if uh, you know the number of variables that could happen, man? Like, come on. And it just... I didn't... Get photographic evidence. Get audio evidence. Talk with the girl. Try to make her convinced. To... Convince her to... Tell the truth of what's going on with your stepdad. All this other stuff. No. It just seemed like... What fucking audience is this for because I don't know I don't know so that said thanks for watching take care we'll see you guys later ciao for now son of a bitch